Hi everybody, it's Tammy from Lufer Fru. Um, if you're looking for my regular video, this is not it. This video is simply to share and show some things that I'm going to uh, be listing in my Etsy shop. I hope you'll hang around and see what I've got. Welcome back. I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. I decided to do this in a separate video because um, I don't know how many of you list on Etsy, but you can only do 10 pictures. Uh, so I want to do a separate video because I have a couple of journal flip throughs and things that I can't really show in 10 photos. And um, separately, I can post it on Etsy and them not have to watch the regular make video and vice versa if you guys aren't interested in this then you can watch the make video if you want to. So I had a ton of leftover printables and Christmas items um, and I was going to pack them up and put them away because I said okay it's getting too close to Christmas and um, I didn't want to have a bunch of stock, uh, left over. And then I saw all this stuff and I thought, okay, I'm going to do one more make. And so this really will be the last make for Christmas 2021. And what I did is I made some just little stuffed journal pockets that you guys can use in your journals. Um... Or give them as a gift, whatever, you know, you would like to do with them. They all basically have the same number of items and the same style. Although the pictures and, and things may vary just a little bit. So, I'm just going to pick one and kind of show you what's inside. So, you'll know what you'll be getting. And again, other than, you know, the the images, um... Everything is the same as far as the number of things you'll receive. And I have six of these available. So, here is one. They are um, approximately four inches by six inches. And they're made out of uh, just some leftover scrapbook paper that I have. It's a really pretty paper. Um, and I altered between three different patterns. Um, there's this pattern with the sleigh, and then there is, let me find one of the others so you can see it, this pattern that has, uh, snowflakes on it, and then, that one's snowflakes, snowflakes, and then there's this pattern that has the deer, and I don't know if you can see that, but these all have just a little bit of glitter on them, so they're real cute papers. And if this piece is big on the back, then the sleigh piece is, is the small piece on the front, and vice versa um, on the sleigh pieces, which you can't see a lot of them, but for this one, for example, has the deer on the bottom. So that's that, um, and then they've all been embellished on the pocket. There is a pocket. I did not finish them on the back, although some of them do have finished back piece of scrapbook paper, but I figured they'd be glued down, so I didn't bother to finish the back. So in each one of these, you're gonna get one of these cards that has a little metal, um, disc on it that says something Christmassy. This one says Holly Jolly. You're going to get some sort of printable um, that looks similar to this. Like I said, the image won't be the same. 
You're going to get these little button cards that have a handmade button and a December calendar with the 25th circled. And these are all made the same. This pattern will differ. And then you're going to get one of Lorna's awesome vintage Christmas photos. Each one has one of those, and on those is a tiny paper clip with a snowflake and a little tag that says 25. And then you're going to get just some piece of Tim Holtz um, ephemera that looks like a card. All of them have one of these. You're gonna get one of these little sentiments you're going to get this little tag double tag has a tiny tag and a little bell and it is just a coffee dyed little tag you're going to get one of these 25 little cards whoops and then you're going to get this tiny tiny little tag that's been embellished with some kind of little sticker, vintage sticker. And these are actual vintage stickers. Um, in this one, you can see these are the little velveteen little package stickers that are probably from the 50s or the 60s. And then I have another one that's a Santa that's got the little velvety stuff on it. And then you're going to get some sort of little ticket, and you're going to get one of the definitions. And these are all from several different shops, and I will link those all below. Um, because if I was to have to tell you right now off the top of my head, I cannot remember whose is what. But I will try to give the best... Um, location for all of these different little printables. I do know this is Lorna at Taylor Made Journals. Several of these are um, Artsology. There's um, Oh, I can't even see. I'm, I'm trying to think of them and I can't even think of them off the top of my head. But I will put their links in the description box. So those are those. And that kind of uh, cleans out some of my stuff and makes a cute little, like I said, something that you can use in your own journal or that you can give as a gift. And there are six of them. Okay, and then I have two journals completed, and they are both um, T in size. And this is the first one. The first one, it has a butterfly theme, and it is constructed of a brown paper bag covered in tissue paper, and it has a crinkled seam ribbon closer. And it is mounted in the Midori style so that if this um, particular insert gets full and you want another insert, you can easily pull it out and put another one in. Um, it just has, if I can get to the center here, it's just on elastic. So you would just pull this out. And you could easily replace the interior. And then you just slide it back in there. So your cover is very reusable. And like I said, it is just a brown paper grocery sack that I have covered with tissue paper. Okay, and here's the cover. It's a mixed media cover. It has some paper, some corrugated cardboard, some gel print paper, 
um, some text and it has this little metal plate that says observations. So when you open it up, um, this is paper by uh, Louisa Heinzel and I meant to stick a ticket in there. So you will get a little ticket stuck in this. This is actually um, a vintage uh, little cardboard piece that was used to divide out watch pieces. And uh, it's a really cool, it makes a really cool little small pocket. And here we have a pocket in a big Phil Notes card that's been backed. Plenty of journaling spot space on that one. And these particular images are just a part of a butterfly book that I have. And here's our little paper bag thing that we made the other day. And it's got the tag behind as well as, or in, and there's also space for, if you want to put something behind there. And this is just a little corner tuck that you can stick something under, braille paper. We've got some uh, coffee dyed graph paper. These are our junk envelope pockets that we made. There is a tutorial for that. And it's just got a little card in there. That's on a piece of tea dyed, just um, regular notebook paper. We've got some music paper. We've got a belly band with a card. More tea dyed paper. These are two little vintage advertising cards. Actually, this one is a printable from. Um, Again, my mind just went blank. I'll put it in the description box. I'll have to think about it. Cause, and then this is a belly band that's made out of my um, uh, you know I don't know why I'm searching for my words today. I was up really till really early this morning finishing these, so that's probably one masterboard. <coughs> Excuse me, masterboard. And just a little cluster here and a little bell tail tab. This is an envelope that's got just a, a Tim Holtz card stuck in there, and there's also a piece of avocado dyed paper in there. Um, this is, I have the original one of these, but this is not my original. This is from Digital Collage Club. And that's who did that other one as well. It's just another little journaling space. And this is one of our corner tucks. There is a video on that as well. And this is another Digital Collage Club. Oh my goodness. We're hung. We got over anxious sticking our stuff in here. There we go. Cute, cute little vintage butterfly printables she's got. And tea dyed paper, of course. And this is one of our little um, postcard pockets that we made. They're it's a video on this as well. And see, I'm trying to hurry and I'm getting everything stuck. Wait for the glue to dry, Tammy. Let's see if I can get that unstuck real quick. If I can find my little folder here. Oh, it's good in there. Good. Don't want to tear my pocket up.
There we go. About that was it. Or not. All right. I'm not going to fiddle with that anymore, but I will get it unstuck. It's just barely hung somewhere. I can feel it. There we go. I knew it. Okay, so it's just got a flower on the front and coffee dot paper on the back for journaling. It was stuck right in that very corner down there. And these postcards are from Rachel at Roxy Creations. They're awesome. Um, and this back paper is from a calendar that I found at the thrift store. All right, and then we have this little envelope and in the envelope there's just a little card it says true friends with butterflies on it this is just a collage this is Edith Holden and just a uh, Tim Holtz die cut on some German paper another Tim Holtz clear butterfly this is Tim Holtz vellum and then we've got just this little paper clip embellishment and this envelope and this envelope is a printable as well, and I'll have to look, um, look it up because I've had it for a while. And I can't remember what kit it is. It was just in my stash. And then we have some book page here, some Louisa Heinzel paper in the center. And then we start on the back side. This is just stenciled. Um, we have a big, huge butterfly out of my butterfly book that I actually wrapped around the page because it was so big. Some little bit of stamping, the back of the vellum piece, the back of the wonderful German paper that Denise sent me. This is an old tea card, vintage tea card. More coffee and tea dyed paper, another printable from Digital Collage Club with a couple of things stuck in the pocket. We have a tab here, and I made a little tuck here with another couple of little cards in it. This is a piece of parchment paper, and again, a little tuck, the back of the envelope. More tea dyed paper. Oh no, yeah, tea dyed on the back, but it has a map on the other side with the die cut and a little tag. Coffee dyed paper. This is a collage. I was going to make it a tuck, and I thought we had enough, so I just put it on there. And then we have a little paper clip here, the other side of the notebook paper. And we have this little pocket here with a little tag. Coffee dyed paper. This is the back side of the braille paper with three die cuts, or not die cuts, but fussy cuts for my butterfly book. And then we have this tag on the back. And then there's the back of Louise's paper. And then I left a big pocket right here so the owner can stick whatever they wanted in there. And it just wraps around and ties. And that's that one. So this will be listed as the TN size butterfly journal. Okay, and the other one that I have is birds. It's the same size, same principle. This one has Tim Holtz tissue paper on it. It's mounted the same. Everything's the same as the way that it's made, other than I left the paper rag on the inside because I like the colors better with this one to just leave it plain. So you can see it's just a grocery bag. It has this tissue paper on it, so it has a nice crunchy, crunchy cover, but it's very sturdy as well. And again, you could take it out, put new insides in, and keep on going. Keep on trekking. 
Um, this one starts off with a tag that um, I made several of these in a tutorial, so there is a video for those. And then you have this little tuck with this little check digital. And this is from our um, roll, uh, scrap roll that we made on the calculator rolls paper rolls so there's a tutorial on how to do those and then this is our um, paper bag um, pocket and I didn't put a tag in there I need to put a tag in there that we made the other day and the brow paper, and this is Tim Holtz vellum. Um, this is a, ta a tuck, and it has one of Rachel's postcards in it. And then you flip it over, and this is just out of a bird book, and we've got one of our little tags we made the other day. With the, uh, This is in the video about layering techniques, the little tags with with the mailbox in the back. Here's the envelope, and the envelope just has a page out of a book that I have that's called um, Sketching Birds. And I just thought it had some pretty birds on there and it fit in that envelope perfectly. And then we have some music paper. This is vintage tulip soap advertising card. We've got a map. We've got this little tag that says there's no place like home with some eyelash trim on the top. And we've got this little pocket just filled with all kinds of, this is a vintage style uh, playing card. And we've got a library card here and just a piece of drop scrapbook paper that I thought was interesting. This is out of the bird book as well. These are two vintage advertising cards from my scrapbook that I got at the antique store. And these are Tim Holtz papers and just stamped coffee dyed papers on the back. My German paper. This is a vintage um, bird print that was in that uh, scrapbook as well. And this is a Tim Holtz just little Tim Holtz card that he had in one of his sets. It was probably in the Halloween set, actually. Uh, this is two images out of my bird book. This is a sticker that I ordered on Amazon. They're really cool. Um, they come up in a pack of a bunch. Um, and I will try to remember to link those. And then it's just got some... Uh, vintage ledger paper and book page behind it. This is a print. Um, I can't remember whose print this is. I will have to link that because I can't remember. And then we just got our little button scrappy thing there. Um, and then here's two more cards. Hummingbird and a Robin, and these are vintage. This one's actually got a handwritten note on the back of it. Um, I can't see a date. I don't see a date on it, but that's kind of cool that it's written on the back. This one doesn't have anything on the back. And then I just, this is one of my fussy cuts from the bird book. And this is another vintage advertising card and another one here. And this is a vintage image out of that book. And this is just a fussy cut out of my bird book. And this little owl tag with the eyelash trim. That's a printable that's in that same set. 
with the other other one and this is a vintage one at all uh, as well it is signed on the back but it does not have a date and then that's a Tim Holtz stencil that I just put some vintage photo through the back side of the map the back side of the music um, this was a card that um, I made in a challenge with Denise And then we have this little pocket. This little pocket came in my Cora Create box. Um, it was not a pocket, obviously. It was just a piece of paper that I made a pocket out of. And then this was the tag I made. And then the back side of the vellum piece, the back side of the braille piece. And then these are the little pockets we made out of the um, junk mail envelope. And that card slides out. And I was going to change that card to something that had more birds on it. But I like it, so I left it. But the birds are down here. And this one has the vintage watch piece and the little key hanging. And this is out of my bird book, and this is the sticker, one of the stickers that came in that package that I got from Amazon. I think it's really cool. And then here's the back, and here's another vintage card, and this one is, says, bright as the flowers be thy Christmas. So it's a vintage Christmas card. You can see it's very old and it's been glued in a scrapbook and then removed. And then this is a uh, printable. Oh, I can't remember who this one is either. Sorry about that, guys. I'll have to list them all. And then this is a belly band we made. And I think I have a video on belly bands as well. So that's that one. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope I didn't take too long to go through everything. But like I said, it's hard to list on Etsy um, journals when you can only do 10 pictures. So um, that's the purpose of this video. And like I said, I'll be back later to do our regular videos so we can work on Kathy's journal. And I hope everybody continues to have a good weekend. I think we're gonna get some rain after a while and then it's gonna turn really cold. So I'm not looking forward to that. Um, but then again, I've lived in the South my whole life when it was 80 degrees on Christmas and I don't like that either. So. Um, this time of year, it can be cold till Christmas, and then I hope it turns summertime. I know I won't get my wish, but <laughs> I have one more of these coming, and it will be, it's a botanical themed, um, it is almost ready, and it will be also this size, so, um, be looking for that coming. And uh, after that, I am doing a sewing-inspired tag book. Um, and, oh, I'm participating in 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel's December Challenge. And it's Defember. Do you remember? I don't know how they can say it really well. They must have had to practice it for a really long time because I can't say it. But anyway, you have a different challenge every day. Here, I'll show it to you. Sorry for my cruddy sweatshirt. This is my favorite sweatshirt to craft in. And so it gets worn a lot. And you can see I've even cut it with my scissors. But okay, this is what it's called. The Ephemera Remember? I don't know. 
But anyway, <laughs> um, they give you two items every day from now until December 25th, and you're to make an, uh, something with these items. And so I have been making these, and I actually have four and five done. I've been posting them on my Facebook and Instagram. Um, I haven't been making uh, videos for them because I just my schedule just doesn't allow it right now. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Um, and so my plan is when I get all these done, I'm going to make a journal out of them. Um, and I am trying to make two of everything. It's so that I can have one to sell and have one to keep. Um, so that's my plan. And I think it's going to be an altered book. Um, and that's all I'm going to tell you about it right now. But, uh, you can follow me on Instagram or on my Facebook page and you can see the daily post so you can see kind of what's going to be in it. And we'll put that together in January after I get them all done. So, but if you're interested in doing this, it is really a lot of fun. And I know it's a daily commitment, but believe me, I work full time and I can usually get these done in about 30 minutes. So, um, it's not taking a ton of time because they only have the two prompts and I like that. Um, but you can go to, uh, Louisa's website or you can go to 49 Dragonflies and watch the first one and it gives a really good explanation of what they're doing and where to post your finished pictures or um, how to tag them in their videos if you want to make a video about it. So, with that being said, I'll let you guys go for now. And I will be back for the regular video later. Bye.